Dude, I cannot edit anymore. I'm going over for customer service. Hello? Yo, I'm looking to order a set of wheels and tires for my car. Yeah, bro, we got free wheels, free tires, and free suspension. Yeah, free stuff, right? No, 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 wheel and tire packages. Oh, no, stupid, oh, sorry. I mean, actually, you can save money on wheel and tire packages and get 10% off ceramic coating, and we'll even mount, balance, and ship those to you for free. That's right, right? Yeah. Hell yeah, dude. What is going on guys and welcome to beautiful Road America. We constantly get asked, what is the best suspension for my car? What is the difference between airlift suspension on the track and a set of coilovers? Are coilovers worth the extra money over a lowing spring? Well, today we have a Porsche Cayman on air suspension. We've got a Toyota Celica on Tane Flexi coilovers and we've got a BMW M3 with some lowering springs and we're gonna compare them head to head. But before we jump into it, make sure you guys go check out FitmanIndustries.com for all things wheels, tires, and suspension and check out the links below for everything that you see in this video. Let's get started. So for this little segment, I'm not going to be driving the vehicles. Some of these cars are expensive and I don't want to break these people's cars, but they're going to take me for rips around in it. We're going to start with the lowering springs. These are, what, about 300 bucks? Yep, 300 bucks, baby. And you kind of want to keep a lowering spring in a car like this because you have factory, like, adaptive damping with the car. Oh my god. And that's one of the pros about the springs is, oh my god, you don't get rid of that. Oh, all right, well. Oh my god, it handles so good. <laughs> that starts to pull real hard. Oh yeah. <coughs> Too much power. This is going about as expected. <laughs> it's a very fast car. That was about as expected. I, I know these cars handle very well and I know you don't want to get rid of that adaptive damping. So if you do have that kind of setup, I would 100% recommend lowering springs over a coilover setup in a specific application like this. Yeah, part of the reason I went with these lowering springs is because it comes with all the M parts. If it were just like a 335, I probably would have yeah. opted for the coilovers. 100%. But since it has the M dampers and the M control arms and the bushings and all that, like it's set up pretty well from the factory. Yeah. So I've been super happy with these. They gave me the stance I wanted. Obviously still allowed me to have some fun. Plenty, and look, look what you did. Yeah, I know. She got a little tail happy, but oh well. All right, so coilovers on the Celica. We got some Tang Flex Z's, they're about a thousand bucks. Some Zenus, Falcon Zenus, RT 660 is a pretty sticky tire. I believe we got sway bar, sway bar end links in the back. So this thing's kind of set up for autocross. And it shows. <laughs> Adjustable damping. Did you turn them all the way up or are you just close them all the way up? All the way up. It feels good. It doesn't feel like it's jarringly stiff, but you're not getting any body roll. I suppose the sway bar is probably helping that a little bit too. That is a lot of performance for a thousand dollar car over, so that's crazy. Especially in sort of a, a cheaper car. I feel like that makes a lot of sense. This, put a thousand dollars into the suspension, get a nice sticky tire on there, and just go, go have fun. It's not going to cost you a whole lot of money. Especially with how much you do autocross this. That is, that is a lot of fun for me. That's crazy. Yeah. That's sure. awesome. All right. 
right, so airlift air suspension, D2 struts on the racetrack. Are, is air suspension worth the extra money over a coilover? That's the real question. I don't think I've ever been in anything on air suspension around the track. Yeah, neither have I. Uh, so far it feels really good. Like it's still pretty stiff. Like this feels fine. I honestly thought it might be a little loosey goosey. Here a little bit of rubbing. Then we have the little song. She did hit a cone, which is fine. You can skip that last one. Just put it right in the little hole, I guess, huh? Yeah. Hey. What tires do you have on here? These are NT five 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 G2s, right? Yeah, NT triple five G2, yeah. Dang. This honestly feels way better than expected. Been a little hot there. So I like I'm not experiencing any body roll, I don't feel like. I mean I get it's a Porsche, but still. Yeah, I mean full aluminum monocoque chassis. That's really impressive. And how much did you say these were? These would be like 4,500 bucks? What, the and that's tank? Air suspension? Yeah, yeah. The yeah. kit is like uh, 4,700 retail right now. It's like 4,700 bucks? You get full adjustability from slamming in the parking lot to lift it, do some off-roading, and you can go to the track with it, stiffen up the damping. That's pretty impressive. It is a bit expensive, but if you want the best of both worlds, especially in a car like this, like something something you would take to the track and you want to stance it out. That's a big deal. A lot of versatility. Race car, show car, it's the difference. This thing feels good. I'm really impressed. Because I have the same tires on my car, which is factory air suspension, which is a little different, but like mine is just like all over the place. No oversteer, no understeer. It doesn't seem like this thing is just planted. It honestly kind of feels like a coilover. Yeah. But like a little bit more comfortable. It's not too bad. Impressive. Hell yeah. Have you been happy with it? Yeah, dude. It's awesome. Hell yeah. All right, so what did we learn? I think I learned that I have the best job in the world. But on a serious note, I don't know if we found the definitive answer. It, it really kind of depends on your application. Like right here, we have a Porsche that comes with really well engineered suspension from the factory and you put air suspension on it. And you can see on track with the adjustable damping that this thing is gonna handle super, super good. And you still get to lay the thing out. I mean, look at that. That looks awesome. You're gonna get a ton of looks and you can take it to a track day. We also learned that even on a cheaper build, you can go get a set of suspension for a thousand bucks and take it to the track and do really, really good. I mean, this thing kept up with both of these cars that are in a totally different class in it or when you have a fifty thousand dollar m3 like this one and it comes with really really good adaptive damping suspension you can get a lowering spring you can get that stance on point without getting rid of any of that factory stuff now if you guys want to take your ride to the next level you guys know where to go fitmentindustries.com there'll be links in the description for each different specific piece my name is sean sean b to f on instagram thank you guys so much for watching we will see you later peace